I just want to run you uh, through the Gonzo a little bit. So this is our new boat. It's uh, eight foot five, uh, well, eight foot six long, so eight and a half feet long. This is just a prototype uh, out of the out of the final mold. So this is the final shape, but it was a prototype construction out of the final shape. First thing in this boat that you want to see is how light it is. Super light, okay? But at the same time as being light, it's super stiff, okay? See there, this boat does not move. Business part of the boat, or business end of the boat, is the bottom here, it's the hole. And uh, the key thing that we've done here is uh, the double step, which everybody's accustomed to now, but the way that we've gone from the planing surface to the double step, where this flat surface over here helps bring the boat up on a plane. These grooves that go down the bottom of the boat here, in fact, the whole point of this system here is getting it on the wave. So uh, once you're on the wave, it doesn't make any difference, but what that did is it gave it that little bit of speed right as you get on the wave. As you're paddling, it, you're at that point to where you know, and it pushes the boat on. And that's how we managed to keep a lot of rocker in the boat and still make it very fast, just catching the wave. Obviously, once you're on the wave, this isn't really doing much. Uh, then it's all the main section of the hole here, which also helping it talk. Got a lot of rocker, so it's actually quite easy boat to paddle. The other thing then, when we flip it over and start looking at the deck, is how much bow volume it has and how much rocker it has in the front. So all this bow volume does two things. One is it makes it very comfortable uh, to sit inside. There's loads and loads of foot room. And the second thing is it makes it easy to paddle. So when you're going down rapids and you know, you're running some class four stuff, it's very simple to paddle. It just bounces over everything, water coming over the deck. But then we get to the tail of the boat here. And we've got a little bit of volume behind the cockpit, but then it drops away in the back of the boat. So that's really cool, the way it drops off the back of the boat. It allows you to do splats and tail squirts and things like that. Um, but at the same time, you've got enough volume in the center to where the boat's easy to roll. It stays on the surface when you're running white water. And it's a little bit different the way we've brought this volume into the cockpit than what I have done in the past. It's just a slight difference in the way that I'm making the lines of the boat float. These grooves here, front and back, give rigidity. They make the boat very, very stiff. Um, so that really helps. So that we've got our security bars here that we to clip into. And then, of course, our grab handles on the end, which are very strong as well that we can clip into. The internal structure of the boat Coming off the cockpit, we have two tabs, front and back, that our vertical support bars are mounted to, and then we have the seat flanges coming down the side here. And this whole system here makes the cockpit very rigid, along with these kiss offs all the way around. Then inside, we have this vertical support bar that goes to a bracket on the bottom, that then is connected to a central beam that runs the entire length, or the main section, I should say, of the bottom of the boat. And that beam is what keeps the whole thing really stiff and strong, along with these two vertical support mounts front and back. This is the paddler cage, it's the skeleton, it's what makes the boat safe. It's also what keeps the boat stiff so you get maximum performance. The thigh brace, which we see here, can be adjusted. It can be rotated in and out according to your body size. So depending on what it is that you want to do and how you like it, if you prefer your thigh brace to be more on your knees or more on your thigh, you can move it forward, you can move it back, you can rotate it in, you can rotate it out and you can actually pivot it according to your size. The back band is connected behind the hip pad through what I call macro adjustment, which is a series of holes on the back strap. So if you want, if you move your seat forward and back, or if you want to have it overall tighter, overall looser, that's where you would do that. And then you have micro adjustment, which is this ratchet behind here. The whole thing then is it's very comfortable. The seat itself is a solid block of foam. It's solid foam. There's no plastic in the seat. All the structure comes from the central beam. Having a foam seat keeps weight down, and having a foam seat also keeps you warm. It's very nice. It's non-water absorbing, so this seat doesn't stay wet. Hip pad and back band are made out of the same stuff, and it gives the whole support out on the outsides, and it looks cool. The hip pad runs in these grooves. So the hip pad can be moved up and down. It can be shifted forward and back, depending on your size. So depending on where you put the seat, depends on where you put the hip pad, and depending on your size, the further up it is, the looser it is, the further down it is, the tighter it is on you. So that's the main outfitting system inside the, the Gonzo. And then of course you've seen the outside here of the Gonzo. And uh, oh, the seat adjustment. So the seat adjustment works on a Velcro system. So we have Velcro on the bottom of the track and Velcro under the seat. And you just simply lift it up, slide it forward, put it down, lift it up, slide it forward, 
put it back down on the, to go forward and backward like that. And then we have a pin system that comes over here that if you really, really are worried about losing your seat or you think you might be swimming down some big white water, you can pin it in the back of a, um, in the back over here through holes that are in the main track and that'll lock it into place. It's unnecessary, the seat's not gonna come out, but if you're not sure, if you wanna play it safe, you can do that. So, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Gonzo.